Hey, Julie Burke here. How's it going, everybody? Happy Sunday. Let me close these. Hey, hey, I know it's Sunday. I don't necessarily always go live on Sunday, so I did put out a meme a little bit ago to let you guys know I'm going live. Um, first of all, a couple of things I need to warn you guys about, okay? Um, yeah, as you're tuning in, you guys, please say hi. Portia, I love that name, Portia. Awesome name. How's it going? Let me know where you're tuning in from, you guys. A um, couple things. So we're, we're pulling out Christmas decorations right now. So my kids are running wild. Um, so I can't promise what's going to happen on this live because um, if you follow me and you know little Landon, he's three and he's a big, huge hit in my lives, you guys. I don't know. And then my other one's seven, and he's like hitting this age where it's just Mr. Attitude. I don't know if I have parents on here. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Um, so yeah, I wanted to get on before all the football games started today. Um, and I have some calls later tonight, so I wasn't able to come on tonight. So hey guys, thanks for tuning in with me on a Sunday. Happy, happy, happy Sunday. Happy family day, as I like to call it. Um, I typically don't go live too much, but I'm in my office. I'm doing work. I'm getting gearing up to do this training uh, on Tuesday that I've been talking about. If you haven't heard about it, I'm definitely going to be sharing more um, a little bit later in this broadcast about it, but it's a really, really cool um, it's going to be an awesome training. I am making it jam-packed and loaded with tons of information, but also it's going to benefit children with cancer. So I will talk to you guys about that in a minute. So hi, Denise. Hey, Carissa. I got some like really cool names on here today. Lori. I have Portia. I'm sorry. I don't know how to, uh, uh, Musa. Musa Ware, <laughs> I don't know how to say your name, I'm so sorry, but thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Put in the comments where you're tuning in from. Also, um, you know, make sure that you share this. You share this, I'll give you a shout out and uh, also give you a free gift. Um, I have some really awesome resources coming out. Um, if you're new to me, I want you to drop me a one so I can personally say hello to you as well, but you definitely want to tag your friends and share this broadcast because I'm going to be talking about five really simple key factors that you really want to implement in your business um, now more than ever. And I'm going to, I'm going to share why in a second here. Okay. Hey, hey, Canada's in the house. Awesome. Wait, someone said it's 85 Traveling down, oh, you're traveling down I-85. I thought you said it's 85 degrees where you're at. I, If you saw, if you're on my personal page yesterday, we went to a um, Christmas parade down in the city. It was lighting of Michigan Avenue. You guys, it was so flipping cold, I couldn't feel my feet. Literally, like, all you could see in my life was, like, this, because I was so covered. <laughs> I just showed, like, five minutes of the parade, but it was, it was cool. The, the boys had fun. They had a good time. All right, so uh, my daughter wants to hear you say her name. If you can, laugh out loud. Oh, gosh. Kaylani? Kaylani? Is that her name? Am I saying that right, Denise? That's a beautiful name. Really, really cool. Um, okay, I love you too. Yes, awesome. Okay, guys. So, um... Basically, yes, I got it right. Awesome. Okay. So I have some notes here because I always like to make sure that I stay on track. I don't really want to skip around. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, Dawn. Laugh out loud. I went to my hairdresser yesterday for a cut, and it seems she was at the same pause event as you attended. If you, Yeah, we were there on Friday, you guys. My husband and I have such a soft spot for... Oh, my God. We love animals. My, my husband actually... Um, He's a vice president of a company, and what they do is he's partnered with them, and they build animal hospitals. And so um, we're always going to these pause events. We're always donating, um, you know, a lot of money to them because 
these animals are so helpless, right? And so if you're an animal lover, can you guys drop me an emoji? Drop me an animal emoji if you can find one really, really quick. Or just give me thumbs up if you guys, I mean, just near and dear to our hearts. That's so funny, Dawn, that your hairdresser was at the same event. I love it. Yeah, it was a black tie event. And by the way, I got ready in probably 30 minutes for a black tie event. Just FYI, everybody. I was like in turbo mode. Okay. All right. Um, so here's the thing. Um, we're in the information age. Okay. Who agrees that we are in the information age? Um, now being in the 21st century, not so much where what when we you know think about back in well i was born in the 70s but you know 70s 80s 90s um really pre-internet it was like everyone was just dying to get information okay right am i right but you guys i say this all the time and this is something i've learned is that you definitely want to you you have to move with the trend you have to move with the trend and so now let me get like a, a high five or hands up if you guys agree that this is now the information age. And so we must learn how to utilize the internet, social media to our advantage to help us build the business, okay? So here's the scary part. I heard a statistic that in the next 10 years, you guys, the brick and mortar businesses are going to be gone. Thank you for sharing, Lori. Appreciate that. Um, they're gonna be gone. Now, if you know my story, you know who I am. Um, before I got involved in network marketing, thank you, Carrie, for sharing, appreciate that. Um, when I got started in network marketing, I own my own franchise at 22 years old, okay? And I thought a franchise um, was my ticket to freedom. I was in corporate America, I was highly, um, I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to like stress it to the point of like where it was like I was going to do something, but you guys, like I was very depressed in corporate world. Even though I was making really good money at a very young age, I was very depressed walking in that building. You guys, even the smell of the building, like do you guys know what I mean? If you ever worked in co corporate and you sit in your office and it has like this certain smell and this certain scent, like it's awful. Um, the politics, the drama, the gossip, like people stealing people's lunches. It was awful. Anyone work in corporate America, like <laughs> ever? <laughs> Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Show me some hearts if you know what I'm talking about here. Um, so at 22 years old, moved into the franchise, thought the franchise was the answer for me. Um, after eight years, I, I ran myself into the ground with that franchise. And and I will tell you, I'm happy. I. Thank you, thank you for the hearts. Like, right, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you've been in corporate America, it sucks. Um, <laughs> yes, Jen, yes, people stole my, so here's a funny thing, Jen. My brother-in-law works for um, a, an attorney and they like have a lockdown on people's lunches because people's lunches are being stole even today, okay? Now, I haven't been in corporate America since I was 22, I'm 40. So it's been a long time, but they're still taking lunches. <laughs> um, so yeah, I then owned the adult day, uh, daycare, as I always call it. Thank you, Ellen. You know my story. So here's the thing. Brick and mortar businesses, they're saying, are going, going to most likely be obsolete in the next 10 years. So you have to think of it this way. Like everything's moving online and social media is so big, right? So growing a network marketing business or... A coaching business or an affiliate marketing business has never been easier right like just by the tap of a, your finger right like by a push of a button you could send an email to your email list right by going on social media you have the ability to get in front of so many different people's networks it is very sad I know Portia it's very sad because because I own a small business I also support small business owners and want to see them Thrive. I have friends that own boutiques, right? I have friends that own yoga studios and so, and gift shops. Um, but it is, it's scary. I mean, it's not, it's not scary. I mean, it's great if you're in the space of online, right? And this is why I highly specialize in bringing people online. 
Now, I've been in network marketing for five years. Now you're going to hear screaming. My boys are screaming at each other. You guys, this is like, I can't make this stuff up, okay? Um, I've been in network marketing for five years. Um, I grew a six-figure business in a year utilizing Facebook, okay? But even being in that company a couple years, like I kept feeling this tug, like they kept wanting to tug me to do home parties, to do sip and sees, to do coffee shop meetings, to do all this stuff. And I started being labeled like the shake girl and I didn't like that. So uh, a year ago, about a year and a half ago, I decided, decided to branch out, learn what this branding was all about. You know, I got a website together. I started doing trainings and basically I accidentally developed my own training company because people started to ask me if I would mentor and coach them. So here's the thing. Um, that's how I was starting to get seen and, and be heard is because we have access to this like global economy, but we're not utilizing it in the right way. We keep getting stuck and staying in front of our, our warm market, right? Does that make sense, right? And so it's time to kind of branch out globally, but how do you do that, okay? So um, one of the things I, I get asked is, um, you know, you know, by bypassing your friends and family, it's key to grow faster. But what I am asked all the time is, okay, that's cool, but like, how do I do it? So I'm going to show you how. I'm going to tell you how. And if you have, if you're taking notes, take notes. If you want to jot this down. If not, no worries. Go back and watch the replay. If you are on the replay, I want you to type in hashtag replay so I can personally say hello to you later on. Okay. So here it is. You want to create your brand identity. Okay, and, and this is something I really specialize in is helping network marketers, um, coaches, if you have a coaching business, I have a six-figure coaching business as well as six-figure network marketing and affiliate marketing. Like I am a jack of all trades because if you've been following me, you know I talk about the importance of um, not, not to lose focus but to definitely think about bringing in a couple income streams in case one day your company shuts down, okay? So how do you create a brand identity? Well, most companies and most uplines are teaching their reps to go out and promote the company. They're, they're asking you to brand their products. So you see people all the time in the newsfeed you know, whether they're, um, you know, shown before and after pictures. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this. Like, I've done it, right? Like, that was one way I built my business. However, uh, because times are changing and you see almost like the, does anyone see the news feed like being spam with people? Like, do you guys see that? Do you see a lot of, you know, drop me a yes below if you, if you see this, okay? If you can agree, like, before and after pictures or maybe someone's, um, you know, holding their shake and drinking their shake, you know, which is fine because it's creating curiosity. Um, but most of the times what happens is you have the before and after pictures and you have the shake, you know, that you're drinking or whatever, using an oil, whatever it is. And they want you to label, or if it's skincare, they want you to label the product and maybe not the company, but the product and the time frame or what have you. Okay. <clears throat> so... What I encourage you is to be someone that others know, like, and trust, and to really create your own brand identity, okay? And there's a couple ways that you're gonna be able to do this, all right? And one is um, showing up and getting really clear on your message, and that's gonna be number two, is getting really crystal clear on your message. Who do you serve, okay? Um, what do you wanna stand for? Do you wanna stand for the person that believes in clean living? right? That toxic free, clean living environment. Do you want to be the person that stands for, um, I'm the fitness guru. Like I am the fitness person. I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you some tips and strategies about how to, um, how to, you know, uh, confuse or about the mind, you know, there's so much you could teach about fitness. You could teach muscle confusion. You could teach what type of foods to eat for your body. If you want to gain more muscle, right? So is it the fitness person? Um, is it creating an experience for your customers? Okay. Knowing that you're going to give them the best travel experience possible. Okay. Um, is it homeschooling? Is that something you want to be known for that you believe so passionately about homeschooling your children 
okay? So it's not what your company represents. You build and get crystal clear on your messaging through what it is that you're passionate about and that you bring that to life, right? And then what you do by doing that is you are then able to attract your ideal customer, okay? And then that's number three, is really getting clear. So it's getting clear on your brand personality, number one, your brand personality, your brand identity, who you wanna be. So when I was developing out basically like for my fan page. So I broke away from my personal page and I'm like, you know what, I'm starting over. I'm done with my war market. I wanna be able to attract a whole new audience to me, like globally, okay? And I didn't know exactly what I was gonna do when I started the fan page, but the thing is that sometimes you don't have all the answers, you just gotta show up, and then your audience starts to show up and they start to develop your brand for you. But the number one thing you always have to remember is to be yourself. So your brand personality, number one. Number two is really getting clear on crafting your message and what you stand for. And the reason why you want to get clear on that, and um, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, when you get clear on your message, it's about getting clear on your ideal customer. In 90% of the people, this is where they go wrong. They want to serve everybody. They feel like they have the solution for everybody. But here's the thing, you don't really want to attract everybody. And you're like, well, why? Because you want to make sure that you, there's a lot of people, right, out there. There's a lot of different people out there. Do you really want to attract some ho-hum type of person? Do you want to attract those that are unmotivated? Do you want to attract those that, oh, here he is, everybody. Here he is. Okay. Daddy's gonna take him a second. Say hi. Everyone say hi to Landon. I know he's a big, a huge hit on these Facebook lives. Okay. Okay. Jump down. Okay. Can you close the door? Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, okay. And then, I'm sorry, I lost track of that. Okay. Um, hold on, let me look at my notes. Okay. Okay, yeah. It's about being really defining in on that specific person. So I knew somebody in my last network marketing company that started out and she was overweight and we were with a health and wellness company. I'm no longer with that company. I have since moved into a different company way happier because it's actually where I can be me and we build 100% online through social media, okay? Um, gotta have a duplicated online system, people. You have to, you have to, you have to, okay? So here's the thing. But in my old company, there was this woman and she like seriously got so clear on who she wanted to attract in her network marketing business. And it was, um, it was fitness people. It was like fitness competitors because we were with a health and wellness company and we were getting like a sports side to it. So she legitimately wrote down the actual avatar, gave that person a name, put a picture, you know, you print out a picture, you hang it on your vision board, you literally get very clear on who you are looking to attract, that ideal person. And she wanted fitness people. She wanted the fitness guru. She then entered her own, she lost like 80 pounds. She entered her own fitness competition. And um, she had like seriously, I, I would say 60% of the company that were like fitness gurus, fitness competitors all over the world were on her team. Do you guys understand? She started with nothing. But that's the power of being able to really, and this is where 90% of the people go wrong because they feel like they want to attract everybody. You guys, I, I know this because I've been there. You have to hyper niche. It's called a hyper niche. So you have to really niche it and say, okay, well, I want, okay, I want fitness competitors. Okay, but hyper niche it. Do you want just women? Do you want just men? Do you want um, women with this type of personality? Like really have clear, like where does she shop? What does she read? What does she drive? What's she hanging, where is she hanging out? What other platforms is she on? Get specific with yourselves, okay? And then that's how you craft your message. This is how we create our content. Um, number four, don't get squirrel vision. 
so many people get squirrel vision they want to run over it all over these platforms okay uh, master one and move on I'm gonna tell you there's you know three billion people almost here on Facebook I don't get tunnel like I, ha I have tunnel vision I don't get squirrel vision I use apps that promote me to other platforms but I don't ever have to show up on that platform that's a cool thing about it okay so don't get squirrel vision and also don't um, don't get in comparison mode focus on you focus on who you want to attract focus on your brand and I don't mean brand colors and logos and all that I'm talking about your emotional brand your your personality brand that you're going to throw out there to attract that right it's like a boomerang right you're putting up and you're gonna get back okay it's like a boomerang um Yes, yeah, sort through a clear mindset and clear vision. Yes, absolutely, Lori. It is about getting clear because we are an information age and we're loaded with an overabundance of information. So how do you stand out? How do you project? Okay, you have to project. And number five is develop win-win relationships. It's not what's in it for you, right? Um, so it doesn't just mean with like, people that you're attracting. So there's two sides to this. You want to have win-win relationships with other entrepreneurs, right? Because there's some exposure agents. You might have somebody else in the same industry that you could cross promote, okay? So think in um, abundance and not in scarcity because maybe you have something that's gonna be better for your friend's network and they don't want what they have and then vice versa. So cross promote, there's nothing wrong with this, you guys. Um, and then um, let's start looking at people like they're people and not dollar signs. So the thing is that um, none of us create success alone, okay? So what I want you to do is focus on giving your potential customer experience success. Success with the experience on your product, with your solution, and ultimately you win. Do you understand this concept? So it's really... Um, you have to understand how to market and you have to understand how to promote to people and you have to understand what the problem is and the solution that you're giving them and that you're giving them an experience okay is this are you guys getting value from this right value below if you are just to like give me something yes it's how we can help someone not what they can buy from us exactly 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 that's why when I do promos now or when I'm you know um, you know, I, I create products, of course I have digital products, but I want to think about, okay, how, how can I benefit my, my potential customer and client here, but then how can I also benefit somebody else? Okay, you guys, like, so always thinking about, it's not just the dollar amount, it's, it's not just an income. I have people joining me left and right now inside of my new network marketing company, and you guys, it's awesome, but why are they joining me? It's me, it's not the company, it's me that they want to be aligned with. It's me that they want to be partnered with, right? And so think of it that way. Show up as the person that people want to either hire, they want to join, whether you have your own coaching business and it's, you know, you're having them, you're triggering, triggering an emotion within them with your content, right? Because you're so crystal clear and focused in on who your ideal avatar, who your ideal customer is, that you're writing and you're speaking to one person. You're not speaking to everyone. This is why it's so incredibly important to get hyper niche. And you might say, well, why do I need that inside a network marketing company? Because you're trying to promote to everyone. Stop. Stop promoting to everybody, okay? It's very, very important. So listen, you guys, um, I am actually going to be hosting this training. If, if you're on my email list, you know what this is about. If you've seen the email, I've been sending emails out this whole week. Um, this training on Tuesday is called uh, Fan Page, hold on, sorry. Um, fan Page Success Playbook. My Fan Page Success Playbook. And why is that? Okay, well, if you don't know my story, I started my fan page last June, June of 2016. I grew it to 
Um, I think over, I have about 55,000 fans and followers now, like just crazy, zero. I started with zero. Um, so many people bypass fan pages or business page, whatever you want to call it, same thing, because they don't know how to utilize it. They don't know how to break away from their war market. I'm going to teach you how on Tuesday inside this training. The training is going to be about 90 minutes to, to probably about two hours. I'm going to be doing Q&A. If you could show up live, awesome. If you can't, don't worry. Um, if you register and you get in now, you absolutely will gain a lifetime access. Plus, I'm giving bonuses away. Great, amazing bonuses. Plus, you're going to get my slides, okay? Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a ton of information on how I've been able to grow my email list to 38,000 subscribers, grow my fan page, you guys, all that. And then... I produced over $467,000 in sales in the last year since I've done this. So I, I'm sharing this with you because I want to give you this information because people are getting so sidetracked. And ultimately, I did all of this by just building a community on my fan page. That was it, you guys. That's been it. That's been it. And developing and cultivating relationships, okay? I'm going to teach you the steps I took. So if you want the link to the training, I need you to put link here inside of the comments if you want the link and if you share it where you put the link share it and tag friends i will put you into a raffle i'm going to be raffling off some prizes on the training and if you're not on the training no worries we will contact you i'm going to be raffling off a couple really cool things right before the holidays some amazon gift cards some some really fun things tag your friends i need you to tag at least two to three people inside here you guys, here's the thing. The training is $27. I don't want to hide that. It's 27 bucks. That's it. And you're going to get the full training, access to it, lifetime access to it, the bonuses. And here's the best part. A portion of the proceeds is going to um, Camp Out With Cancer. It's a children's foundation for children with cancer. And my goal is to raise $5,000. And I know the child that started this foundation. He is actually a cancer survivor. He's nine years old. And he put this together. And what they do is they create packages for, for children with cancer. And they send them like a tent. And they send them a movie and books. And they send them um, like um, popcorn and some snacks. And they pop up the tent and the children get to go inside the tent. Even though if they're living with tubes and stuff. And they get to like have a flashlight. And they just get to be kids. Okay. So this is very near and dear to my heart. My husband and I also, you know, support foundations out there um, to do with cancer. We've had many people in our family uh, pass away with cancer. So, um, five thousand dollars, you guys will support one hundred children with packages. One hundred, one hundred children with these packages. Okay, so it's a really, really, really big deal. Um, so here's the win-win. The win is I'm going to do this training for you. Um, and the win is that we're also going to be all together donating this money, um, to this, this, this foundation. Okay. You guys, thank you, Lori, for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, just tag your friends right here in the comments. So again, it's, I'm sorry, 12 PM central standard time this coming Tuesday. It's going to be like a pre Thanksgiving party. <laughs> okay. Without the Turkey. But you could, we could bring coffee, you could bring tea, you could bring champagne. It's, it's you know, five o'clock somewhere, you guys, right? We're going to hang for a couple hours. I'm going to give you my training. I'll, I'll be doing some Q&A. It's going to be held inside a private Facebook group um, where I will show up and you, you guys will see my webinar in there. Um, so we have to approve you. Once you register and you Donate your $27. By the way, the price is going up to $37. So if you think you want to do it, do it today. Um, and then it's going to go up to $47 on the day of the training. And then um, that this will be the last time I do it live. I'm not doing it live again. This is it. Okay, so get in now um, at this discount price. And again, it's going for a great cause, you guys. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing and uh, I look forward to seeing all of you on Tuesday, 12 o'clock uh, Central Standard Time, 1 o'clock Eastern. And no worries, if you can't show up live, you're going to get the replay. And you'll gain access after 
to a private membership area with the replay and the bonuses, okay, and my slide deck. All right, guys, cool? Can we do that? All right, thank you, Portia, for sharing. Thank you. Sarah, you don't think you're tagging right? Maybe when I'm done going live here, just come back in, Sarah, and just tag um, when I'm done. Um, Yolanda, we'll get you the link. You guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And um, I look forward to seeing all of you real soon. Okay, bye. Be blessed, everybody. Have a good Sunday.